It's now 1230. We're in the midst of a major winter storm across Alabama. Snow continues to fall and road conditions are extremely dangerous. It's dangerous as you'll ever see across Alabama. Uh, right now, snow is falling heavily along and south of Interstate 2059. But as you go north of the interstate, over towards Coleman, Jasper, Fayette, and Vernon, the snow is tapering off. Still some light snow and flurries there. Uh, but as you go towards the metros of Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, over towards Gadsden, and down to the south towards Demopolis and Linden, it is snowing uh, very heavily outside. Let's take our Tuscaloosa Tower Cam and see what we have out there right now. And we're looking over at the campus, University of Alabama. There's Denny Chimes and UA Quad below that. A scene you don't see too often, lots of snow, and while it looks pretty outside, it looks like a, a winter wonderland, it is extremely dangerous. We want to urge that caution on the roadways now. So if you have to drive in conditions like this, uh, take your time. All right, allow plenty of extra travel time. This isn't a situation where we get a little bit of snow, the sun comes out and it melts quickly. This is one of those deals where it stays on the roadways, it stays on the ground for quite a while. And I'm afraid for much west and central Alabama, we're going to have some uh, dangerous driving conditions through tonight and even tomorrow morning. Now, the snow's going to end uh, later this afternoon. This is a unique situation for Alabama. We don't typically have winter weather like this. Our typical snowstorm, it snows for a little while. The sun comes out and it quickly melts. Well, this setup is going to take a while before the snow actually ends. So we're still snowing heavily in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden Point South. As you go way north of town, up towards Portia of Lamar County and Fayette County, still light snow there, but it's starting to show signs of slacking up. Uh, the back edge of the snow slowly working south now, and it's going to take a little while. I think it'll be more like 2 or 3 o'clock uh, before the snow ends in Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. And still some snow behind that. It's not going to be one of those deals where it totally stops. I think there will be some flurries behind this. But you notice uh, areas even further to the south, places like Linden, Demopolis, over towards uh, Marion and Clanton. It will likely snow until about 5 or 6 o'clock this evening tonight. And once the snow stops, as it gets dark tonight, we're going to have major roadway issues. Even after the snow stops, it's not going to melt right off. Uh, temperatures are extremely cold. And again, this is what we've been talking about. It's 22 in Tuscaloosa now. We're way below freezing. This isn't even close uh, to one of those situations where things have melt off pretty quickly. Uh, we've got temperatures right now in the teens, 16 in Haleyville. Uh, Coleman at around 18. And I do want to remind you, not only is snow a big issue, extreme cold is going to be a major concern later tonight. I wouldn't be shocked as places like Haleyville and Coleman get below zero tonight for an overnight low. Areas like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, uh, we'll likely see those temperatures somewhere in those single digits late tonight. Hey, Daniel and Janie, yeah, live on the University of Alabama campus where things are really quiet right now, unusually quiet for this time of the year because it's a school season, school semester, and things are shut down here, and that's thanks to the massive snowstorm we just had across Alabama. In fact, pretty much every square inch of Alabama getting snowfall accumulations today, which is extremely rare. We'll check out radar, live radar, and see what's happening. Now, the snow has ended for places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, down towards Linden, Demopolis. A few flurries are still sticking around, uh, but there's still a lot of snow on the ground. There's going to be some problems later on tonight thanks to the very cold air. We'll talk more about how cold it's going to get tonight and when we will finally thaw out. We'll start things off tonight with a look back at the winter storm pictures from yesterday. Lots of snow across pretty much all of Alabama. These weather pictures sent in by weather watchers and viewers all across west and central Alabama where many folks reported about one to three inches of snow. Some heavier totals were also mixed in. Uh, in fact, uh, some totals as high as four inches down around Clanton. Again, the snow, while it was pretty, did cause some major issues, major traffic issues out there. And uh, fortunately tonight, things are calming down for the most part. Here's a look at the forecast tomorrow again. We're really focused on the warmer temperatures starting off in the morning. Really cold stuff around 23 at 9 o'clock in the morning. And that's going to be a big warm up compared to sunrise. At sunrise tomorrow, we're talking temperatures around 13 on average. Really cold stuff. Lunchtime around 38 and yeah, 44 by 3 o'clock. It will be a cool day. Also notice a light south breeze about 5 miles prior by 3 p.m. there. Uh, we will be above freezing. Road should thaw out. Yeah, as we go into the early afternoon hours tomorrow. Let's look outside now with our Tuscaloosa tire cam, and we're looking west towards downtown Tuscaloosa. Conditions are quiet tonight, but it is really cold. Check out the temperature map now. We've got temperatures in the teens now for places like uh, Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. 
15 already in Birmingham. They'll likely see single digits overnight tonight. Uh, notice temperatures in Montgomery 21, Mobile at 22. They're dealing with extremely cold air for this time of year and for that far south as well. Across the area, all the snow and cloud covers out of here. There's still some wintry weather happening over parts of northern Florida and parts of southern Georgia. Fortunately for us, no more wintry weather to talk about anytime soon. We'll focus on a warming trend over the next several days that will feel very nice. In fact, uh, here it comes now. While it doesn't look like much of an improvement, it's an improvement. It's happening west of us. So warming temperatures are starting to take place. Cold air across east that is moving out and that warm air will replace that cold air over the next several days. All right, future cast mode. Uh, check it out. High pressure on top of us tonight. Tomorrow that means calm winds, clear skies. Tomorrow a little bit warmer. We're talking temperatures back in the mid 40s, but on Friday and Saturday really going to notice a warming trend. We're talking temperatures in the 60s over the weekend, which will feel nice with that south wind developing. I think some clouds and some moisture will move back in. Also the chance for maybe a shower on Friday and Saturday, but the better chance of rain on Sunday and on Monday as another cold front moves in. Something we'll watch close. Good chance of rain ahead of that front, but the main focus overnight tonight is extremely cold air. Uh, here's a look at the lows tonight. This will be at sunrise tomorrow morning. 15 in Linden and York 15, Marion around 14 and some of the colder spots like Reform Tuscaloosa about 12 to 13 tomorrow morning. Dangerously cold stuff to start off our Thursday plans. Uh, Birmingham got a forecast low of 11 for you, but it would not be shocked if you get closer to 10 or 9 uh, tomorrow morning. Jasper Fayette will get temperatures between about 10 and 11 degrees tomorrow morning, some of the colder spots for the north will be likely in those single digits. All right, tonight's low on average around 13. Again, some of the colder pockets colder than that. Uh, black ice is still likely on the highways, but that should melt off pretty quickly tomorrow up to 44 for the afternoon high. That will be much more of an improvement, especially by Friday, upper 50s to near 60, mid 60s over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, but there will be some rain primarily on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will not rain all day, but some rain is certainly possible. Don't forget to check us out on the radio, these stations across your dial, also Facebook, Twitter, and our weather blog, lots of updates right there. And also, if you want to see those viewer pictures again we saw, them, go to our website, WVUATV.com, click weather blog, they are all right there. So Richard, did you get a chance to enjoy the snow? A little bit <laughs> uh, between cut ins and, and coverage here. We got a chance to walk out on campus and, and it was really pretty, but when you saw the roadways, it was very eerie. Mm -hmm. Exactly.